What's up guys, I'm George LaHoff, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can add the Z-axis to your router for the Maslow CNC machine. Check it out. So adding the Z-axis to your Maslow router can actually be something you do after you build your permanent frame, but I'm just gonna do it before we are finished with the temporary frame, that way, I won't have to be there adjusting that depth knob every time we're cutting out the pieces uh, to build that permanent frame. So I'm gonna add that Z-axis now, and this is how we do it. All you need is that um, the router with that sled, uh, whether you're using the permanent or the temporary one. Um, there's two brackets that come with this motor. You need the actual motor, the data cable, and this bag of screws that they have provided. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna remove the the knob from the actual router here. So actually at the top of this knob here, there's gonna be a T10 torque screw at top inside of this knob uh, behind the recess. So we're just gonna remove that. Now we're gonna take the motor and the brackets that are provided. So we're gonna mount the motor to this bracket using provided screws, making sure the top of the shaft is actually at the top of this rounded edge of the bracket. So now we're actually going to attach the shaft coupler um, to this motor mount and same thing as before you want to make sure that the set screw is going to be against the flat end of the motor here. So taking this set screw and realize that there is a part of this uh, shaft coupler that is smaller on this end over here. So I'm going to take that end Again, set screw over the flat part of this motor here. Put it over like that. There's actually a clamping screw also here that we want to tighten down on the one end um, of the motor shaft, leaving the other end for when we connect to the router. From here, we're gonna take our temporary sled, or if you're using a permanent one, we'll take that one. Take this motor and align it on top of where it's actually gonna go here. And then I'm gonna take the other bracket, align it here with this bracket. Make sure these pieces are flush against each other and I'm just gonna mark where we need to pre-drill some holes. And from here, we're just gonna screw in all of the screws for um, this bracket into the temporary sled. So we're just gonna wanna tighten this screw to the nut where the knob used to be to make sure it stays tight on it. And you'll know when you try to remove this that it's on it pretty good. From here we're just going to attach the two of these brackets using the provided screws and nuts. Alright guys, at this point after we have attached the brackets, we're pretty much done. We're just going to take the cables for this motor, and we're gonna attach one end to the top of this guy. It should only fit one way because there are some notches on the top of this plastic here. So you're just gonna attach it to the way it fits. And after we attach this to the top of the cable, I'm actually going to add a zip tie to the cable to add strain relief so this thing doesn't end up cutting or pulling out or any wires get disconnected down the line. And then you have the board that we had assembled in the electronics video um, previous to this. And all we're gonna do, you have the other cables on here already, but I'm gonna attach this cable to MP2. So once that's attached, we're gonna take it to the computer and we're gonna go into ground control here and we're gonna enable the Z-axis so now it should all be functioning uh, fine, and that, that's the end of it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like below. If you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and comment below. I try to get back to every single one of you guys. If you want to see more videos like this, more Mazel videos or other fun videos I'm going to be putting out, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching, guys.